Okay, just some quick things here. Get on your bike and ride to the other section of the oasis to this tiny little shack or hut or whatever you want to call it. Okay, now go in this guy. This guy's one of like seven sages, and if you talk to all of them, then the last one gives you like a scrap arm, which you can develop with your other scrap arm that you have. Which I mean, you didn't sell. I don't know if you knew it can, but uh, and it creates one that's like unbreakable and does this like rainbow after stream. And there's like only there's only one other weapon that does that, and it's a blue after stream with another weapon. And it's but it's a core. It's called Excalibur and Elder, which is the current champion of this current board drop by Continental Champion whatever. He's like the best, supposed to the best one. He's not actually, he's tough, but he's not that tough. Like, I don't know. If you could be, he's got a smaller one too, but it's really fast and really adorable for some reason. Because he cheats. In my opinion, Don Elephant could probably beat him. Okay, ride back here, and we're gonna go for a little swim. You don't have to change into your swimming trunks, but I do, and Connie does change into hers. <laughs> okay, now, the only reason to go to swimming is to go swimming, and... Get this war book of world literature and it's underwater chest over here. I don't know why we, the book would still be good if it's a, if the chest in the water. The chest would probably be water water too. Water's just gonna flood in as soon as we open it up. It's a plot hole right there. No, it's not really done. It doesn't really have anything to do with the plot. But you need to collect these books if you want to get uh, one of the orphans a place to live. Afterwards, you can talk to that kid right now. And I, can't, I think he does the same thing if you go and talk to him. You can talk to him over and over again and try all the different choices if for some reason you want to. Okay. So just swim back here. Okay. And now I'm going to change into my desert clothing. My turban and my desert outfit. Okay, in a little bit we're going to initiate a talking sequence. It doesn't really matter what you say in the first one, where she asks you, like, oh, what kind of food do you like or whatever, but if she were to talk, ask about you and stuff, uh, yeah. Then you can convince her you're this one person, but I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Okay, and just go go over this way. You might have to swim to progress the time. I don't know if you can just go to sleep and like wait till night or something. In my opinion, if you really want to know about stories and stuff, you should think about Connie and then ask about Connie when you can instead of asking have her let her ask about you. Okay, now in this next conversation after the thing where about food, you can convince her that you're this one guy named Mallow. And that can really change uh, the story, but in the long run, you're gonna see him like in the town after Happy Garland. You're gonna meet up with the guy you think the that you're, you make yourself think you are, which is. And, we have yeah. a concert coming up, and I just took off so, without warning. You'll see. But if we can make it to Happy I'm not gonna Garland do that in this tomorrow, one though. I think it'll be okay. That's the one where I didn't save. I thinking, okay. Could I maybe ask you questions about yourself? It might jog your memory. Sure, ask me anything. Well, okay. What kind of food do you like? Meat. Beef. Lots of it. You should say drinks. That'd be funny. What kind of sort of things? Stew, Stew is probably in my top three. 
Stews vary from place to place, so if you eat different kinds, maybe you'll remember. She says that about just everything, like donuts. Just the other one. And she says you always the so, ones. And, did that uh, help you remember anything? God, what, I always call Why every that town Happy Garden. It's um, remember. New Neferberg, not New Haven. Maybe if I ask Neferberg. you something else. You should ask about her okay, instead, in my opinion. But How about... you can make her think you're Mallow here. Or you can make sure like no, mention like where'd you get it? Oh yeah, that's me. I am Mal. That's the one Mal totally. Used to wear. Really? Like really? Because that? nobody likes Mal except like you. Yeah, the crew of the ship. Don't know. I never really gave it much thought. I see. Mallow. He's the son of a well-known doctor. You could say he was a friend of ours. He picked on dandelion and chicory a lot though. God, it, I asked about Chigori here. Chigori is Dandelion's little brother, and she was like in love with him, and he was supposed to. I think Chikori. he looks a lot. The way I understand is that he looked a lot like you. And um, she's totally a bitch. She's totally like using you as like a replacement Chikori. for Chigori just because you look like him. Chikori, he's a friend. Seriously, like, what the fuck? Who's Dandelion? It's like Dandelion's brother. twin brother, just because he, also used to lead the he looks a lot like you or something. Now he owns an instrument or why did it you because your twin brother garden. died because you looked like him or some shit like that. It's messed up if you were a twin, anything like that. Nobody's heard from him since. Of course, she's hot. She's really nice or something. Let's not talk about that. Gets me shell. Hey, did you get a chance to practice that song There's a mother. There's a movie like that. Oh, mother. There's a movie called Brothers coming out like that. I think soon. The fact that he was dead. Oh, and he comes back from the war apparently because he was MIA and not actually dead. Okay, I'm gonna cut the commentary here for a little bit. was perfect you'd fit right in with okay the back to come to you know? the way there's a lot of stuff that you do in the game that's kind of important but I don't think you have to do it like I don't think you had to take this mission but and I don't think you you have to be you don't have to be nice to Connie or do anything really but they might be one of those things where they're like oh they beg you in the game until you do it and you can't progress the story which would be kind of lame but it would really change the story if you didn't do a lot of things like right here if you don't do this next thing and you're just chicken out uh, I've never tried it because I've never chicken out but yeah so I don't know. Maybe someone out there should try that. I've never done it. What the? <laughs> if you want the girl back, I might just open up a new list of choices where you can actually like, oh, you gotta pay me first. You know? Even if that is an option. He does not actually sound like that. That's just a fake voice he does, based on a stereotype of Arabic. 
I eat thieves for breakfast. Of course I'm going. And the second choice is like, oh, we, let's both go, we'll totally be like heroes and stuff. Lies. Okay, well, let's go. I think that they come after you, but of course, since you're not on the caravan, you can just run right past the desert horn out you. 